Hello and welcome to all of our good viewers who are here today with us. Uh, welcome. I am Kristen Schwarz, licensed midwife and one of the MCs here. And I'm so happy to introduce here to you a speaker coming up for the Tongue Tie Conference 2024 here at Gold. And I have with, with you here, Dr. Patricia Diaz Lorenzo. Welcome, Patricia. It's good to have you here. Hi, Kristen. Thank you. Thank you. It's great to be here. <laughs> It's wonderful to have you back. You've spoken for Golds before, so yes. we'd love to have you back because your material is just so absolutely fabulous and excellent. Mm -hmm. um, this time you are here for the Tang Tai, uh, new Tang Tai conference that we have for the very first time in the previous years. We always had our Tang Tai symposium, but this year we have the full conference for the very first year. And we're going to talk about your presentation in just a moment. Your title of the presentation is Game changes in a tongue tie clinical protocol and it's absolutely fabulous but before we go there tell us a little about yourself you are a pediatrician you're an IBCLC a doula you're wearing so many hats Patricia so <laughs> tell us a little about your background well currently I'm the chief of pediatrics here at La Trinidad Teaching Medical Center uh, where I have my clinical practice and here I work as a pediatrician and IVCLC. We have the birthing protocol where, that we've spoken about it uh, before mm -hmm. as a goal speaker. And now in the last six uh, years, approximately, we've developed this clinical uh, protocol for tongue-tie families, which is a multidisciplinary team. And I'm very proud of it. It's a labor of love. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> and we're trying to, you know, uh, uh, advance it every every year with with learn with our beautiful families that have allowed us to to perform releases in their babies and accompany their babies with uh, what we know now uh, are game changer strategies, pre-release and post-release. So it's very comprehensive, pre-release, post-release, the release itself, and multidisciplinary. So tell me who is in the team? Who's with you in the team? Who's taking care of uh, the, the uh, families together with, with this you? This is a dynamic team, but um, the core team, it's uh, comprised by our pediatric surgeon, uh, mm -hmm. Dr. Adriana Peña, our uh, occupational therapist, Anthony Granados, our phonodiologist, who is a speech therapist, Elena Griffin, and myself as a pediatrician, IBCLC. And also we have here um, available for us all these specialties in pediatrics. So if for instance, uh, our family needs a, a, pre, a prior evaluation for a neuropediatrician or a gastro, we're going to have it and we're going to introduce that tailored into a design strategy uh, that responds exactly to what family needs. It's a family center approach. Family, I, I love that family centered approach. Yes, absolutely. So, so tell me a bit about the, how does it work? So the family comes to you, the baby's being evaluated and then the team kicks in with uh, education, with, uh, you know, exercises. So walk me through the actual protocol just briefly. Yes, I love that you mentioned education because that's like the, the baseline of everything. We talk a lot with parents and we give a lot of information so they can understand why they're doing this and for what they're doing it and what implies uh, from the perspective of a functional impact. Because functional impacts or diagnoses that have functional impact are not very mainstream understand, understood. So parents do not see because it might it might sound like an abstract concept, uh, how a tie in the mouth, for instance, can affect posture or breathing patterns. Mm. So we work a lot with that. We start at the IBCLC and pediatrician's office. So we see the baby as a whole, uh, global vision, uh, pediatric global vision. And after that, we design uh, the evaluation with our therapist uh, in charge of body work. So we have a pre-release body work in, in place with a nutritional recovery strategy if it's needed. And also when we, when we approach the release, uh, we evaluate with our pediatric surgeons so we can see if it's, uh, it's, uh, it's doable. Uh, we uh, usually uh, do an in-office procedure. So mm -hmm. it's always important that all of our team members uh, sit down and discuss every case, every family, so we know how to um, uh, organize this strategy. 
Wonderful. Yes, it sounds really, really a well tailored program there, you know, very individually tailored for each, each baby there and their families. And, um, um, and yeah, and I love the part that there's education too, because you are so right, how can families know? all this information about, you know, how the tongue works, how, you know, all the muscles, um, you know, you mentioned posture, you know, many people have no understanding and where can they find that in information, you know, and um, often, you know, you and I chatted before about this, before we came here online is that parents often felt misled, you know, they feel like something is wrong, there's something is going on, the baby is not gaining weight, is not, you know, uh, breastfeeding, you know, well, and, and they see something is happening there. And then finally, they get a diagnosis. Yes, there's a tongue tie. And often it is just, okay, just a little snip, just a little quick procedure, nothing to worry about. And then they realize afterwards, it's not going well, it's not still not going well. So that's difficult. So with your comprehensive method there that you've developed, you really mitigate any problems and and prepare parents of really what to expect and involve them in care. Absolutely love that, how you involve the parents in and being part of the care team, you know? So absolutely brilliant, love that. And it took you quite a while to put that together. <laughs> yes, yes. We've learned along the years and we hope to grow even more because it's a very dynamic process. I think that we are in a worldwide context that it's really interesting because more health professionals are seriously engaging in research about this. So okay. I hope in the future it stops being a controversial diagnosis or an orphan diagnosis mm -hmm. and we, uh, we address it with seriousness and, and with science and evidence. Science and evidence absolutely loves that. that. So, uh, Patricia, if you had a little magic wand and you could uh, say, okay, in the next five years, where do you th want this to go, and where do you possibly see this to go? I would like, I would love to uh, expand education, education wise, to mm -hmm. our other colleagues, our other health professionals or health providers, because we get here um, national referrals because there's not a lot of knowledge about this mm -hmm. and the uh, very scarce knowledge that is, uh, they, they do the quick release approach and they do not prepare the patients. And when the patients are not prepared, uh, sometimes or the majority of times their, their expectations are not meted. So mm -hmm. it is important to understand what we are doing and how is the way we should do it to get the best outcome. Mm, wonderful. Now, thank you for sharing that. And I have to say, I'm looking forward to the presentation. Uh, you are very, you're such a wonderful dynamic speaker, but you also have lots of images, um, videos where you really can show the viewer, you know, uh, educate the viewer on what's really going on there at that moment, right? Yes, and that's one of the main uh, things for us in our protocol. We try to document every patient with videos and photographs, pre, mm -hmm. during, and post. And Parents give consent because we do a lot of educational process. This is a teaching center. We mm -hmm. have a pediatric residency here. So we are very focused on expanding knowledge and sharing knowledge mm -hmm. uh, so we can exchange experiences with other uh, protocols uh, and we can further ours and, and get the best mm -hmm. quality attention to our families. And contribute to research, right? That you mentioned research before, because we need research, we need the evidence. Yes, yes. Um, yeah, so so we have something in our hands that we can say, look, this works, the evidence says so, and then distribute that also all around the world, <laughs> right? Yes, I'm so I'm so with that. <laughs> well, fantastic. Uh, it was such a pleasure speaking to you. But before I let you go, Patricia, any last words for our viewers? Any little nugget of wisdom here for us? Well, I like to uh, talk about always, I, I mentioned this, this is a, a long process. This is a marathon and we have to train in order to go to a marathon. So we have to understand that as health providers and we need to translate that without overwhelming parents and overwhelming families, but make them understand that uh, this is a neurodevelopment process that we need to accompany and we need to uh, reestablish the mental map of the tongue mobility once we release it. So it's not something like turning on and off a switch. Uh, mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a work, it's a labor of love. And mm -hmm. we need to understand and accompany that process so we can have better outcomes and satisfy expectations. 
Labor of love. That was a beautiful words right there. Well, thank you so very much, uh, Dr. Patricia Diaz Lorenzo, for being here with me today and for your presentation here at Gold. Thank you. And now some information for our viewers. The presentation Game Changers in a Tongue Tie Clinical Protocol is part of the Gold Lecture Pack titled Navigating Challenges in the Care of Tongue Tied Babies. And that is the lecture pack, an add on lecture pack for our Tongue Tie Conference of 2024 here at Gold. You can find out all that information about the conference and this add on lecture pack at Gold. Tongtie.com. I hope to see everyone at the conference. We get started in September, so check it out. Thank you everyone for watching. Bye everyone. Bye. Thank you, Kristen. Bye. Bye.